Uh, but we're here live at uh, Coors Field during batting practice. I'm here with Jason Mott, uh, and we're going to chat uh, cornhole for a second. Uh, so let's see, let's get right into it. You have your cornhole challenge coming up on September 1st. Uh, we're really excited about having you do this here in our community. So just talk about the event. What's it going to look like, and what can we look forward to with it? Uh, you know, uh, we're having a September 1st at the Gorecon Foundation. Uh, just, uh, you know, it's, it's just exactly what it says it is. It's a uh, cornhole challenge. Uh, we have uh, di different guys come out. Uh, there'll be there'll be different teams. Uh, you know, I, I think we did it in St. Louis. Me and Boone Logan were a team, and uh, you know, played played against you know you know whoever, whoever came and signed up. Uh, but yeah, I think things on side right there. You can you can sign up at uh, jasonmottfoundation.org backslash cornhole, uh, and uh, you know get get info and get tickets there. But uh, yeah, the proceeds from this event go to uh, Children's Hospital here in uh, here in Denver. Um, they do a an annual trip down to spring training uh, with, with uh, all the uh, like all the teenagers come down there. Uh, they, they bring some nurses and doctors down there. They keep their uh, their parents stay here. Yep. So uh, you know all the, all, all the kids that are you know battling cancer, getting getting treatment, getting uh, radiation stuff like that. They, they get to come down for a couple days spring training. I got I, I got to meet a bunch of the kids this year, and it was uh, you know it was it was really cool. Such you know, such an awesome event. Yeah, it was. That, that's what's super cool. So uh, all the proceeds go to the Jason Mott Foundation. Specifically though, that spring training trip. So it's going to be a great time. You guys should really come out uh, and experience it. As Jason said, so information is on the URL right here on this post. JasonMottFoundation.org slash cornhole slash Denver. Uh, also on social media at jmott 30 and at Mott Foundation as well as Facebook. So um, Thanks, Molly, for getting the shirt. I like these. Thank you. So so, uh, so obviously the cake cancer and the 108 Stitches t-shirts are a big part of your foundation. Which, what's your favorite color scheme? Aside um, from the purple, of course. Honestly, I, I kind of like the uh, a couple years ago when John Lester got traded to uh, he got traded to the Oakland A's. Okay. Uh, they have we have a gray one and it was gray and green. But uh, as of recent, we have a uh, we had one for Mother's Day which was gray That's and pink. My favorite one. That was awesome. uh, we had a Father's Day one which was uh, gray and baby blue. And uh, me and my wife are from Memphis, Tennessee, and we do a lot of work with uh, uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital uh, yep. and pediatric cancer. Uh, uh, awareness month is in September, so we, we actually started one last year where it's gray and gold, where all the proceeds go back okay. to uh, St. Jude Children's Hospital and uh, pediatric cancer and stuff like that, pediatric cancer research and awareness there. That's awesome. A lot of love here. Uh, Jordan Schneider says, I want that shirt. KKK, amazing man. Um, strike it out, strike out cancer. So it's cool to see that support. So if you guys have any questions for Jason, feel free to fire away. I have a bunch here and lots of love too. He was in there rehabbing that shoulder. So what, are with all the, uh, what are with all the wristbands? Um, so these are, uh, these are just a couple, uh, just, just, just people that I know that are, that are battling cancer. Um, some are still battling, some uh, sadly aren't. Uh, this is a little boy, Brant, uh, Brant Ballinger. Uh, he actually passed away uh, July 23rd, uh, 2013. Uh, um, he was nine years old. Uh, you know, so it's one of those things that I, I, I always wear his. Uh, he was a kid I got to become really close to when I was in St. Louis. Um, the year I had Tommy John. Uh, this is a girl, uh, Ariana. We call her Princess Ari. Uh, I met her in St. Louis as well. She's uh, Whenever I'd go to an event and she'd be there, she'd always make me wear like a crown or a tutu or something like that, so I'd always have a good time. Uh, this blue one here is for a uh, high school football coach in Illinois, uh, Coach Tim Nelson, uh, Lindsey Ripley, and uh, who we got? I think we got Luke here. Uh, I met this kid last year while I was in Chicago. Uh, I said another uh, eight, nine-year-old boy battling cancer right now. Uh, you know, so it's just one of those things I keep these on as, uh, as a little bit of a uh, perspective and, uh, you know, knowing that, you know, they're, they're you know, baseball is, 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 is obviously great and it's uh, it's awesome, but there, there are some bigger things uh, going on. And then, like I said, these kind of kind of keep me, uh, keep things in perspective and also one of the main reasons why we do what, what it is we do. Absolutely. So, again, we hope to see you on uh, September 1st. It'll be a great event. Uh, back to some more some more fun stuff, some more fun questions. He said Boone Logan was your partner. Yes. Uh, how would you scout his game? Is he in the uh, game? Yeah, he was pretty good. Yeah, we uh, yeah we, we, we actually, I think we were about three games away from the final, which uh, I think you were guaranteed in, in St. Louis, you were guaranteed about four or five games, uh, so like that. We, 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 I think we ended up playing like seven or eight that day. Uh, but okay. Boone, Boone was pretty good. Uh, we had uh, John Gray and Eddie Butler. Uh, th th they were a team. They were actually pretty good. Chad Bennis says he's good. I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, <laughs> he, yeah, he, he was there. He was pretty good. Uh, and like I said, when we did it, uh, when we did ours in St. Louis, uh, it was during the uh, Rockies uh, Cardinals series, yeah. and we actually had Cardinals guys coming out. So you were sitting there. You could have 
Rockies guys playing Cardinals guys like you know while while we're out there and uh, you know that, that that was kind of one of our things last year uh, when I was in Chicago and we, we did the one in St. Louis so our whole point was uh, you know rivals on the field but teammates in the fight uh, you know we are uh, you know we're out here at the ballpark today uh, obviously ready to ready to play the Dodgers ready to go out there and hopefully get the sweep but uh, you know there's uh, you know there there's other stuff going on that we can kind of team up for outside the field and uh, you know if Bringing awareness to this disease and uh, you know trying to hopefully one day uh, find a cure uh, is what uh, is what a bunch of guys uh, you know like to come together for. Absolutely, he's being modest, but but Jason and his wife Caitlin they they've been such leaders throughout this whole process. The whole K Cancer movement started with them. Proceeds go to to their foundation, but the T-shirts also go to uh, the foundation of choice for the person who's endorsing it from each club. So it's a really cool thing. It's a really thing a, a thing that's really special for baseball. And uh, you know credit to you guys for spearheading that and really being consistent and, and uh, on board with that. So yeah, really cool the, the, the the one thing I like about the shirts, I mean. One, they're comfy. They're uh, good shirts. But, it's, uh, but it, it's, 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 it's one of those things that, uh, and I was talking to someone earlier, uh, you know, cancer, it, it doesn't have a favorite color. It doesn't have a favorite team. Uh, you know, it, 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 it affects a lot of people, uh, you know. Uh, so it's one of those things that, you know, I, I've had people buy, when I was in St. Louis, buy the one that was with the Cubs or the Rockman just because, you know, they, they like purple or they like yeah. green for, uh, for Oakland and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, and, and, and like I said, these are available at, 108stitches.com. Jordan, uh, 108stitches.com? Yep, 108stitches.com, yes. Various color options. Of course, yep. we love purple, but oh, yeah. uh, they're all good, all go to a good cause. So exactly. any yep. support you guys would be willing to do would be, would be awesome. That'd be so, awesome, yes, sir. Uh, another question for me. Uh, so there was a question from, or an observation from Nathaniel McGee just shouting out to the beard. And I've heard yeah. Charlie Blackman say that he, he really respects your beard game, a little salt and pepper look. Yeah. Do you have any beard tips for the people? Man, I, I just I just let it go. Uh, yeah, I got a little salt and pepper in here. I got some I got some dark. I got some light. I got some brown. Some red. I, I got I got a little bit of everything rain. going on. Yeah, I got it all. I just kind of I just kind of let it go. Uh, you know, I, I I trim the sides down a little bit. I always have the goatee a little bit longer. Uh, I kind of like, like I said, I just kind of let it go. Um, that, that's I guess I don't know if that's really a tip, but uh, hey, that's, good that's that's what I do. Pro tip. Uh, so we're talking about cornhole, but I want to know some other backyard games. So I want you to tell me who who you think on the team would be the best at each of these games. All right. So who on the Rockies now would be the best horseshoe player? If you had to pick some. I'd say either uh, I'd probably go with Boone Logan or uh, Jack Balls. Okay. I'm feeling Boone or Chad Ball is probably going to be my answer for a lot of these. <laughs> okay. Well, in bocce ball. Oh. Um, that's an Italian game. So yeah. I'll spot you a little. Uh, <laughs> I'd say maybe, I think maybe like Chatwood, actually. I, 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 I feel like Chatwood would probably be, probably be pretty decent at that. Okay. How about Croquet? Think Country Club. <laughs> croquet? Uh, I can see Tyler Anderson kind of kind of doing something like that. Like somehow somehow being good at that. Okay. Last one for the backyard game. Who would be the best tetherball player? Oh. Tetherball. Um... I'd either have to go uh, probably John Gray or DJ. You know, they're a little bit taller. You know, they probably have a little bit better angle to what it'd be hard to get over their head. Angle. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd, 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 I'd probably say John Gray or, or DJ. Good answers. All right, so you have a young daughter at home. Uh, yep. what, uh, what are some of her favorite... Some of her favorite TV shows or movies that you like watching too. So, uh, like the little kid stuff that you that you enjoy watching. Yeah, we. Uh, I mean, she, she watches everything from. Uh, she actually likes Batman a lot. Uh, she. Nice. I, don't, I don't know why. She, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like anytime she sees Get anything Batman, she's like, oh, let's watch that. But uh, she watches like Sophia the First. Uh, she watches um, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood a lot. I don't mind it. It's you know, it's it's it's, it's all right. I kind of zone out a little bit. During as long as there's no Kyle. Yeah, yeah, Kyle yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah, she uh, you know, she does that a lot of uh, you know, a, a lot of the Disney movies, the Pixar movie. Uh, we saw the movie Pets. We got gum. <laughs> jokes, jokes. Uh, we got uh, Tony Walters hitting us with gum right now. Horrible ah! shot. Horrible shot though. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but we uh, we just went and saw Pets and uh, Finding Dory over the past like Finding couple Dory weeks. So yeah, yeah that was that, that was pretty good. So All right. I like it. So keeping on that that theme. So you had some tweets recently about your daughter singing. Oh yes. Uh, so I want to know what's your go-to karaoke song if you had to pick one. Uh, Something that always always stuck in your head. I was gonna say if it's if it's mine, I don't even know. Uh, I, I I like a lot of uh, like I, I went to high school and college up in New York, and my walkout yep. song here is uh, Juicy. Okay. By uh, by Notorious B.I.G. But I mean, man, I know every I, I got everything from from that to uh, I mean, you you, you name it. I, I'm actually pretty good with lyrics. Uh, I can kind of hear a song a couple times and and, and kind of pick up on them. So uh, 
I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty good at the lyrics. Uh, my daughter, though, if, if we're in the car with her, it's anything. Uh, it's uh, usually Adele, Hello. She, she's got to hear it, Hello. Uh, there's usually a Taylor Swift song in there somewhere. Um, yeah, uh, the past couple of days, uh, her big song has been Taylor Swift, uh, Wildest Dream. Uh, I don't know that one. You do? No, I don't. Oh, I, th I thought you were about to sing it for us. <laughs> I thought you were about to. I was like, oh, happy out. But, uh, but, 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 yeah, you know, when, uh, when, when, uh, when she's in the car, she kind of she kind of rules the radio. So. Okay. So you guys live in Memphis in the offseason, keeping up with the music uh, theme here. Obviously, Graceland, Elvis. Oh, yeah. Do you have a favorite Elvis song you like? Oh not man! Really your, yeah, really uh, yeah. I, I, I don't have a favorite Elvis song. I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, there, there's so many honestly good, good Elvis songs. Uh, I've been to Graceland a couple times. You know, you see all the plaques, all the gold, platinum records, stuff like that. You're like, you know, I mean, what, uh, you know, all the awards, stuff like that. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. But yeah, I don't have a favorite one. Uh, like I said, he's got he's got so many of them. It's kind of hard to go wrong with the Elvis song. It's like a it's like a Michael Jackson song. You know, there's like so many good ones that. You can't, really yeah. do, you can't really pick just one, I guess. And you can't go wrong with any of them. Exactly. All right, thanks for all the love. Love my Rockies, Anna. Love you back. Do you have a favorite restaurant in Denver for Michelle Hoffman Ooh. Street? Um, you know, uh, man, I don't know. Uh, we kind of go all over the place. We, like if, shoot, man, we, we've gone to Elway's a couple times. We, we're, over, we're over by uh, the Cherry Creek area. We've been to the, uh, the Cherry Cricket. Uh, Gillo Burger, uh, Gillo Burger there, nice little spot. Uh, my, my daughter likes the milkshakes there. Yeah. So, uh, you know, um, yeah, that's, that's... You're also a Chick-fil-A fan. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what's your go-to order at Chick-fil-A? Ooh, um, I usually just go with like a 12-piece, 12 12-piece, 12 uh, nugget. Keep Large fry and a, uh, and a sweet tea. I mean, you can't, you can't really get sweet tea out of a bunch of places, so you gotta, you kinda gotta go sweet tea. Okay, I'm, we, I'm, 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 I'm from the south, so you know you got you got to enjoy that. Sweet tea. We wish you were here too, Nicole. Yeah. Um, for Diana, Nicole, we love you back. Yummy. I assume we talked about the food, not us. <laughs> hey, <laughs> 12. 12. 12, so, yes. So I have a question. So Mott, obviously spelled differently, but it's apple products, apple juice, all that kind of stuff. Yes, I'm um, the heir to the uh, applesauce in the uh, <laughs> <I'm not>, <laughs> I wish I was the heir to the applesauce. Uh, probably good money now. Yeah, 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 there is. So, which uh, which apple product is your favorite from this from this group? Apple sauce, apple pie, just regular apples, juice, cobbler, cider, strudel, or something else? Apple pie. Apple pie. Hands down. Good old American apple with, pie. With, with 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 a little bit of ice cream <laughs> on it. Bunch of jokers I mean, over you here. Can't Couple more for me, then we'll get back to uh, one last plug for the event. So, uh, there's a DJ LeMayhew bobblehead this weekend, and you for the Cubs. So, I want to know. Um, it's a Ghostbusters bobblehead. So okay. What's your favorite Bill Murray movie? Oh, um, Caddyshack. Caddyshack. Right. I mean, I mean, I mean Caddyshack. Wait, he was in Caddyshack. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was. No, wait, I'd probably say Caddyshack. Yeah. All definitely. Right. So kicking it back, back in time, you went to Iona College in New York. Yeah. Uh, what was your major there? Baseball. <laughs> yes. Uh, baseball was my major in college. Uh, when you were a catcher. Yes, I, 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 I barely got by, uh, <laughs> barely got drafted out of there. Alex said, uh, are you a car enthusiast as well? Yes. Um, I love cars. Uh, actually, the one, the, uh, the one I drove in today, I have a 93 uh, Ford Lightning. Uh, that my wife got actually as a as a the, the truck the yeah truck? yeah I think it's sweet yeah it's uh, <laughs> it, it's it's all original I had the interior redone uh, that's the only thing that I've had done to it but uh, yeah it's all original my wife actually got it for me as a uh, as a wedding present we got married about six years ago so uh, so all things I've always liked that body style but yeah I have a, a ninety three Lightning that's kind of uh, that's kind of my baby and like I said it was a wedding present for my wife yeah, so uh, kind of kind of means a lot more so awesome a couple more questions here. Uh, so you majored in baseball in college. So, uh, what would you want to do if you didn't play baseball? Uh, if I didn't play baseball, uh, actually, actually, other than baseball, I, I was going to school to be a teacher. Uh, education was my uh, was my major. Oh, cool. So, uh, you know, I was going to go. Uh, you know, I was going to go and hopefully teach, uh, probably elementary, middle school, uh, and then may maybe coach a little bit, coach some baseball and uh, stuff like that. But I, I actually went to school for uh, for education and. Uh, the whole baseball thing kind of uh, worked out a little bit. So, uh, awesome. but you're an awesome teacher. Thank you. I, I, I talked to that. I talked to your wife for uh, for a magazine story, and she said you're an amazing dad. And I, uh, she's she's your daughter, best friend. So. She, uh, well, we are. Yeah, <laughs> she's. She, she, well, it was a magazine uh, article, so she couldn't really bash me in the arm. That would have been. Even if been, she did, I would have just changed the quotes. <laughs> exactly. Time. Uh, anything else worth entering here? Wildcard team on Am I good at any other sports? No. 
Not at all. You, you challenged everybody to a race last time. Yeah, I'll, I'll ra- yeah, I told <laughs> I'll race anyone for a hundred bucks. That, that was my challenge when Tony Walters was on it. We have to take you I'll, I will race one. anyone for a hundred bucks. All right. I didn't guarantee I win, but you can race me for a hundred dollars. You give me a hundred bucks, I'll race anyone. Kai, Kai Crisman wants to know who was your favorite player growing up. Uh, favorite player growing up, uh, I was a catcher uh, growing up. Uh, so my favorite player, I, I, I like Pudge Rodriguez. Uh, he kind of, he was always out there throwing everybody out. So I always enjoyed that. Um, uh, so I, I, I was a big Pudge Rodriguez fan growing up. That's a good answer. All right, so I'm assuming you would say the best moment of your career was winning the World Series in 2011. More specifically, though, I want to know what it was like to be on the mound, get that final out, game seven. You were the guy. Yeah, that, that, yeah. <laughs> that like? yeah that, that was uh, that was pretty awesome. I, I remember kind of coming out of the bullpen. I remember the uh, the, uh, the, the, the security guard uh, saying, some, you know, telling me to go get him in some words I can't share on the on the internet uh, with, with, with everyone. Uh, yeah. But uh, you know, I went out there. I just went out there and I wasn't really thinking much about it. Just went out there trying to make my pitches. Uh, I remember the second out was a ground ball hit to uh, Daniel Scalzo. He caught it, threw it across the infield. And uh, I remember when, I, when Albert Pujols caught it at first base. I remember being like, "Man, this is uh, this is really loud." Uh, it was like the loudest I remember hearing on a baseball field. Because a lot of times you get out there and you're kind of locked in on, on what it is you're doing. You you kind of it all kind of kind of drowns itself out. But I remember remember how loud that was. And then. Uh, Two pitches later, uh, there was a pop fly at Alan Craig, and uh, you know, next thing I know, I'm getting tackled on the mound. It was, uh, it was, it was definitely baseball, baseball-wise, the uh, the best uh, best day out there. Awesome. Uh, last question we'll take from James Robert Lance uh, Scarton. Uh, how do you prepare for a big game? So just talking Ooh. about the World Series there. Uh, not necessarily routines or superstitions, but. Uh, what is it like just kind of getting in that moment, getting in that mind frame to go and pitch a, a high leverage situation? Yeah, uh, you know, for me, I just kind of go out there. I try to keep things simple. Uh, whether I go out there and put up a zero or don't, you know, I try to go out there with the same mindset, and that's uh, go out there, be aggressive, uh, throw strikes, and uh, just worry about executing my pitch, uh, execute that pitch at that moment. Uh, I really don't try to think much past that. Uh, if the guy hits a double, I strike him out, whatever it is, uh, that at bat's over, I got I to gotta worry about the next pitch and getting that guy out. So I, I try to think things really simple and uh, one one pitch at a time, one at bat at a time, and, uh, you know, uh, that's, 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 that's honestly how I try to, you know, approach any game, big game or uh, what, what, whatever the situation is. Just kind of one, one hitter, one uh, one guy at a time. All you can do. All right, well, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, thanks so much for being Thank here with guys. us. This was a lot of Appreciate fun. Appreciate it. Thank you all. Uh, it kind of went the off the questions. rails a little bit at times, but hey, it happens. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm a relief pitcher. You can't, you can't <laughs> stay on track all the time. That's true. You know? But hey, the main reason we wanted to do this today is just to remind you guys on September 1st, uh, we want you to sign up and come out to the to the uh, Jason Mott Foundation Denver Cornhole Challenge in Lakewood at the Gold Crown Foundation Fieldhouse. It'll be a great time. There'll be Rockies players. Yep. Uh, it's going to be a blast. So we really want you to click on the URL on the link here on this post, uh, and we'd love to see you guys there. It'll be a really good time. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be great to see you guys. Thank you guys very much for... Uh, all the questions, uh, hanging out for a little bit. Like I said, hopefully you get to hang out with some of you guys on September 1st. Like I said, a, b- a bunch of guys on the team will be there. Maybe get to play against us, talk some trash. If you win, if you don't win, we're probably going to talk some trash <laughs> to you, uh, j- just just so you know. Uh, but, yeah, if you guys come out, it would be great. And, uh, you know, you guys can uh, help support a great cause and, and those battling camps. So thank you guys very much. Absolutely. Lots of gum. All right, we'll flip it. Say bye to the other guys. Not They're all gone. Thanks, guys. We'll do it again sometime. We'll see you next time.